Objections and Responses Number 10. Wouldn't Sister Lucy's family or relatives or the nuns of her convent have known that she was an imposter? Firstly, we don't know what Sister Lucy's family, relatives, or nuns knew about her, and barring the revelation of some unknown confession, we may never know. However, there are some truths we do know. The scientific and medical evidence we have is irrefutable. All the logistical difficulties of how an imposter could be introduced are secondary details that remain to be discovered. However, we know that the relatives were never allowed to see Sister Lucy face to face, but always behind the grill and in the presence of other sisters of the community. Hence there was no opportunity for intimate or in-depth conversation. If it is true that the church replaced Sister Lucy with an imposter, if it is possible that the church was overrun by communists and freemasons, is it not also reasonable to believe that these thugs acting in the name of the church exerted pressure on Sister Lucy's relatives to remain silent, and pretend as if nothing were happening? This isn't proof that there was an imposter. It is simply stating that we should not be surprised that a cover-up would involve tying up the loose ends with whatever threats or means necessary. This, is one of the main ways that people just dismiss the whole Sister Lucy Truth investigation. They say, well wouldn't her relatives notice if there was an imposter? Then, they look no further into this most evil crime perpetuated against poor Sister Lucia dos Santos. Here are a few more facial comparisons, real Sister Lucy and the imposter. Can anyone really say that they look like the same person? If any relatives happen to see this and notice anything foul, please contact us at sisterlucytruth.org slash contact.